Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using Tokyo Split Animator, the new template designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10, which brings easy to use menu driven animation to the creation of split screen effects, along with some other unique features which we'll go into later. This template is brought to you by Effects Factory, and the team at Noise Industries have produced a great introductory tutorial, which you can access from the UI inside Final Cut, which guides you through the basics of getting started. In this tutorial, we're going to dive a bit deeper into how you can design your own unique split screen layouts using this template. First of all, let's look at the library of options available when you select Tokyo Split Animator in your FX browser. The way the template works is by providing you with modules that you can put together in any way you like, and there are 19 of these modules to choose from. Let's take a moment to notice how they're arranged. Those starting with the letter A all take up the full height of the screen. The Bs are all two-thirds height, the Cs are half height, and the Ds are one-third height. Within those categories, the modules are numbered one to four, giving the option of one-third width half width, two thirds width, and full width. To make it easier to see which is which, look for the grid pattern within each icon that shows how the screen is being divided up. The two categories E and F give you some fancier options which we'll look at later. Okay, let's start by making a classic split screen. I've got four clips stacked on my timeline. I'm going to add module B1 to three of them and module D4 to the last one. I'm going to use V on the keyboard to turn off the visibility of all the clips except for the one I'm working on. I'm going to move the first clip all the way to the right using the X position slider and down to the bottom using the Y position slider. Notice that although you can put the box anywhere within the screen, for convenience they'll lock to the edges to make it easier to create your layout. Now I'm going to turn on my next layer and move it to the bottom center. A value of zero on either axis puts the box in the center. And I'll move my third box to the bottom left. It only remains to turn on my remaining box with the D4 module applied, and the split is complete. Now let's look at the animation. At the moment, all the B1 boxes are arriving from the same direction. So let's make some adjustments using the options in the Arrive pop-up menu. I'll have my bottom left box arrive from the bottom left, my bottom center box arrive from the bottom, and my bottom right box from the bottom right. The long box at the top I'll have arrive from the top. Now I've got a much more pleasing effect. But we could also have an arrangement where the boxes cross over each other as they arrive, and this works well to give a bit more dynamism to the animation. At the moment, all the boxes are arriving at the same time, and that's because their start points in the timeline are all the same. But let's look at what happens when we offset some of the start times. We could also try changing the duration of the arrive animation. By default this is set to half a second. But let's look at making the long box at the top arrive slur. We'll try one second. Another animation idea we could use is to set the boxes to no animation and use the fade in option to assemble the layout. Let's try a half second on the two edge boxes at the bottom and leave the other boxes as they are. As you can see, you can combine any of the options in any way you want to create your own individual look. OK, so far we've only looked at how to make a classic split screen where all the screen real estate is taken up completely. But where things start to get interesting is when we create some space around the different boxes. And this is where you can really start to design something original. I've applied a generator to the bottom layer of this example so we have something to composite against. And I'm going to use two clips this time and select the F2 module for both of them. I'll go into the Alt Layouts menu and select Fat Upper Left for my first clip. And for my second clip, I'm going to choose Thin Upper Right. Now I'm going to adjust the positions of the two boxes for a more interesting layout. I want the left-hand box to overlap the right-hand one, so I'll move them both down and both in towards the center. 
It's starting to look the way I want it, but there's a lot more we can do. First of all, I'm going to go for rounded edges and I'll try a value of 15. Next, I'm going to turn on the drop shadow to get a more pleasing layered look. And finally, I'll change the border color to black and reduce the border width to 10 pixels. You'll see from this that you can really use the modules in any combination you want for a huge range of different layout options. Now let's look at one more example to see some other techniques you can use. I'm going to keep our background and I'll use three clips this time and work with the F1 module. Let's build the composite a little bit differently this time. I'll first of all apply the module to just one of the clips and set all the parameters except for the Alt layout. And when I've finished, I'll simply copy the effect to the other two clips. I want to use the Triangle B upper layout for this first clip. And I'm going to start by setting the border to 75 pixels and turn off the crop border edges. This allows me to see a border on each edge of the image rather than the edge border being cropped off. Now let's turn on alpha border and you'll see that the whole area of the border has been cut away revealing the background underneath. If we turn on drop shadow, we can enhance the look. Let's soften the shadow by turning the blur up to 25. Now all I have to do is copy the effect to the other two clips, which I'll do using Command C and Command Option V. I'll change one of the clip layouts to Triangle B lower left and the other to Triangle B lower right. And the composite is done. Split Animator is designed to take all the hard work out of building complex composites, leaving you free to experiment and create something that works for you. Thanks for watching.